Hey guys, Andy Pepper here, part 11.5 of our Dollar Tree Survival Kit, 72 hours. Talk about water purification, the final options. Well, obviously you have boiling, so I'm not going to spend a whole lot of time on that. We have our loaf pan. You boil water in that, this thing's full, it will fill up both of our water bottles, okay? With a little bit left over to spare. So, you could boil in this if you needed to, put it in the fire and all that. I wouldn't, you got a taller column of water here. I'd probably boil in this, shorter fatter, more surface area on the bottom. Probably put some tin foil over the top if I was boiling it just to increase the heat, decrease the boil time, get things up rolling there for you. So this is a good, good option here. Again, just so happens that this thing, not quite all the way full, but reasonably full, will completely refill both of our bottles. Uh, I just prefer to boil it in this, in my opinion, just because I think I control this better, moving it around. Yeah, I had the top off this thing, which you're definitely going to want to do, of the bottle, because otherwise this bad boy's going to melt, or the top's going to pop off, it's going to warp. I just worry about this thing tipping over. I've got this thing in the fire, in the coals, whatever on my little grating, cook grate that we're going to have. This is going to be top heavy. Well, not top heavy, it's going to be, it's going to be heavy. Uh, this is going to be hard to tip over. This relatively easy. If I had to have a whole lot of water in a short time period, would I do all of them at the same time? Of course I would. I'd obviously keep one with clean water safe and whatever if it was you know quarter full i'd still keep that one just in case i needed it i wouldn't use all my containers at once so i would not boil these if i or cook in them or anything else unless i absolutely had to because i've got this option I and mean, this is going to hold so much more i think that's a lot more versatile overall uh, again the tin foil that we're going to carry with our kit is going to be tremendous and we've got two of these bottles to boil in uh, we also have our container here which we're going to put lots of our dry goods in and all of that but if we had to in a pinch we could fill that with water. We could put chlorine bleach in it, etc. Uh, you know, obviously boil from here uh, into here. So this would be a container that we could use in a pinch if we had to to purify water in. You know, pasteurize it out in the hot sun if it, there's enough sunlight. And it's hot enough. That'll work. Work okay. Um, but our primary water purification, other than boiling, which is frankly I think fairly obvious, but that's time consuming. That takes quite a while to stop get a fire going, etc. You may not be able to stop and get a fire going. You know, what if you're stuck inside an office building for 72 hours in the middle of a hurricane or something? Uh, probably don't want to set the sprinklers off with the fire. Probably not going to have too much that you're going to want to burn that's not going to put off all sorts of hydrocarbons and chemicals. So this may not be the best option. It may be good for holding water, but uh, what you're going to need to rely on, good old chemical purification. Uh, Clorox bleach. Got tons of this here. We're obviously not going to carry this entire, was it a pint? one and a half pints with us. This way too big, way too much. That is a tremendous amount of water. I could take care of a whole office building with that. Not what I'm looking for. I'm not looking to save the world. So you need enough bleach though. Um, before we talk about how much bleach you need, anything you're going to be using, if you're going to be purifying out of this bottle, which is probably going to be what you're going to be doing most likely, you're going to try to pre-filter the water first. So we have our little bandana quote, you know, it's not really a bandana, but so it's, it's basically a bandana. We're going to cover the top of this if it was open, and drip it down in the water so we pull out any kind of nasty particulate in the water, something like that. If you're pulling from a un quote, unsafe municipal water supply, as long as it's not muddy and brown and nasty, eh, you don't need to pre-filter it, I wouldn't say. But then you need to add the bleach. Now we have two containers here, two styles here. Uh, one of them stands out. We may want to add two of them. I don't think so. I think one's going to do the job. This little murine tears or a uh, 15 ml little bottle here with a little dropper on it and all that, easy to take off and refill with bleach. Uh, 15 ml, this is the perfect size container. Did the math, it takes 5 ml of bleach to purify a gallon of water. So, 15 divided by 3, 3 gallons of water you can purify with this. Now, I would I absolutely need a full 3 gallons per person per day in a bug out situation with only chemical purification? Hopefully not. Hopefully I've got some other options. Again, I'm going to have these two bottles full of water, so that's a start there that I don't have to worry about. That's already going to be clean and ready to drink. So three more gallons worth of options should be more than enough to get you through 72 hours. But again, one is done, two is one. What if this breaks? What if it shatters? What if you spill it or whatever? Uh, well, you want some backup. You could have another bottle of this, and I'd be fine with that. I've got a few extra bottles of this because it's so cheap. Picked it up. Um, you could have two of those, that's fine. That's going to do the job, but it's overkill. I think six gallons of water for chemical purification for two days is a gracious plenty. You may, but uh, we found these little ones, little backup ones. It's icy Breeze, Breath Mint, 
type liquid breath mint, I suppose. Each one of these little bottles is 3.2 mLs. Uh, we got three of them in a pack. We may want to carry all three, but basically two of these little things filled with bleach, and it's fairly easy to do. Now, obviously, make sure you take the label off and label it as bleach because you don't want to use bleach as a breath mint. Uh, I guess it would kill any kind of bacteria or odor in your mouth, but bleach doesn't tend to attract the ladies, so wouldn't do that. I'd peel the top off this thing, the label, and just write bleach around it or something, or danger, or toxic, or poison, or something. You know what's in here, right? 3.2 mLs on it. Uh, you can pull the cap off the top uh, dropper on it, which I'm not going to show you here because I don't want to make a mess, but you can refill that with a little bit of bleach. Two of these is going to be 6.4 mLs, which is a little over a gallon, so I think that's good enough backup. Three plus a little over one gallon, four and a little more gallons worth of water, that's enough. Again, throw in another one of these bottles because we had three for a dollar. If you wanted to, I think you're good to go, frankly. I think this is more than enough. Again, these are small. I can put these in various parts of the kit, other little containers, one in my pocket, you know, whatever. Just an emergency, something like that. You know, using this with this bottle, more than enough. Uh, Going to get the job done a couple times. So, if not more. Haven't done the math totally, but again, if you want two of these, that's fine. I'm going for small, compact, and portable. In case I happen to lose my pack, if I have to drop it, and all I've got is this on my waist, my pocket knife, and my bandana, at least I've got a little bit of water purification options, cigarette lighter in my pocket, I can make do. You know, if I was crossing a stream or something and my pack fell away, well, again, hopefully I'm going to have at least one of these bottles attached to my belt, and the rest of my basic on-me gear, not in the pack, and... You can make do. You'll be alright. Be fine. So, that's what we got for water purification. Again, with fire, you know, we got an infinite amount as long as we can find water. And with chemicals, we've got four plus gallons of water. I think that is more than ample for general purposes, especially since we're carrying um, two 700 ml bottles with us. Again, of course, with the water purification kit, you got to have your little bandana thrown in there just as a bonus. We're going to talk about bandana more. So, and with its other multiple uses and options. So there we go. Water purification. That's the final part of the kit. Review for this. Indie Prepper out.